Hey, welcome back to the Ocarina of Time playthrough series. This is Loud Boy. This is the Water Temple. This one, out of all the temples, out of all the dungeons, it is at times the most frustrating, time consuming. And uh, time, it's just like putting those boots on and off. Oh, I mean, I love the 3DS version because on the touchscreen, you could just tap and switch your boots on and off. Here, you have to open up your sub menu, switch your boots, you know, toggle over if you need to. It's, it's a bit ridiculous, all right? And I liken it to the old adage, cliche, wash, rinse, repeat. Over and over again, boots on, boots off, regular boots, iron boots. It, it's a bit ridiculous. Uh, but beyond that, it's a confusing, sometimes frustrating temple and dungeon. We're going to get through it. We're going to defeat the boss at the end and get rid of that evil, evil sludge. Looks like something out of, uh, out of the, uh, what is it, the Abyss movie. Yeah, the James Cameron movie. If you haven't seen it, yeah, there's a, that was one of the earliest cool CGI effects, actually, where they got some really amazing translucent type of CGI for water effects. And it was really, I mean, it was an amazing movie, its effects level back then. Um, I believe Digital Domain, uh, Cameron's uh, uh, video production did, company did that. So, point is, this is the Water Temple. I could go on and on about this one. It's ridiculous. But we're going to get through it. We're going to find our way, and we're going to beat the boss. At the end, we're going to get a couple little bonus things after the temple before we move on to the rest of our adventure. I thank you so much for being here for this epic story, Good versus Evil. We're trying to vanquish an evil, evil uh, jerk that is Ganon, the Dark King, and his demonic forces. I mean, there's nothing more noble than taking out evil. So this is us, this is Link, this is the Water Temple, and I thank you for being here. Let's go get him. Alright, here we go, guys. That's right, it's time for the Water Temple. But first, we have to get there. We have to go over to Lake Hylia, because that's how we get in the Water Temple. But first, before that, there's something special we need. It's, it's inside the laboratory. Let's find out. And if you remember last time, last time we got the bigger and sword. So thank you for joining me for that. Before that, we went to the Ice Cavern. Really essential to getting not only the Iron Boots, but thawing out the Zora King, so that he would give us our blue tunic, aka the Zora tunic. So, this brings us straight to Lake Hylia. And let's head over to the laboratory real quick. And get my bearings here. As you can see, the lake still dried up. And we're going down. It's Occam's arrow, Occam's razor. Uh, basically, fastest way to get somewhere is a straight line. So the point is, I'm going straight across. They dried up Lake Hylia. No more is there fresh, clear water here. As you can see, we are rocking the Meyer Biggerin sword. Oh, I do love this sword. It's good stuff. All right, there's something special though waiting for us. Please don't. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Auto jump. It's your friend until it isn't. All right, let's try that again. Oh boy. All right, here we go. And there's the old man. So let's jump in the water right away. Let's head over to our inventory here. Go straight for the iron boots and turn them on. Of course, we have our blue tunic that we earned last time. Thawing out the king. And there's some cool stuff down here. First of all, okay, watch this. Little roll, and look at that. Hook shot. 
That's right. Gold Skotella. Not bad. Let's see if we can get these rupees before we leave. Always nice to have. Of course, I have not upgraded my wallet just yet, but with a, with a big wallet, we're doing okay. Uh, we can hold 500. More than enough for now. So taking off the iron boots. And you noticed, with the blue tunic on, our Zora tunic, we no longer have that counter going. The one minute of breathable air underwater. So, that means we're ready to venture into the long storied water temple. Uh, you know, this place used to really haunt me. Uh, it was it's a it's a maze, multiple levels, multiple water levels. It's ridiculous. It still is ridiculous. However, with enough time, practice, and patience, I've gotten halfway decent at this temple. So guess what? We're gonna find out together whether Loud Boy uh, does well or he's uh, running around with a chicken with a. How's that go? Anyway, what if I'm messing up all the time? <laughs> it's late. Um, all right, here we go. That, my friends, is a switch that you can hit with your hookshot. And we're going in. Okay, right away. This is where the 3DS version, okay? Ocarina of Time 3D really shines. The fact that you had the ability to tap a button on your screen and switch your boots on and off, toggle them. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. This whole going into the menu and switching, if you guys have played it, you know what a stinking nightmare it is. All right, so the first, <laughs> yeah, see, here we go. So menu in, put on our iron boots, because what we're going to do is we're going to sink down to the bottom floor. And on this, let's see if we're coming at it. I'm not even sure what direction this is. Doesn't matter. We're going to go in here. I, mean, I need the map and the compass, but especially the map. I, I feels like it's west, but I'm... What is this? Oh, you. If I'm right, Link? You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto. Princess of the Zoras. Yeah, that's my take as well, Link. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting all these seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it. The Zora's domain is totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet... I want to save them all. I want to save Zoro's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who's going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way, follow me quickly. And that she does. So the first thing we have to do, so many of these rooms, we repeat and we see over and over again, this one, uh, in different states of, of, for lack of a better term, dryness, wetness, meaning are they waterlogged or not? We'll see that again. Use a bomb on the crack in that wall. That bottom part, we use Din's fire. Um, so it's pretty ridiculous, okay? So check it out. This is our first thing. This is actually where we can change the water level. And doing well already. Here we go. My controller is getting stuck again. Aren't we having a good time? Okay. 
One second here, people. Okay. We... Ha! <laughs> How quickly memory fades. Uh, we do not have shield capability. With, uh, that's the big thing about the Goron Sword, the, uh, Bigger and Sword, right? Okay. So, without the shield, that's how we repel them and turn them back into their first rock form. Okay. So, let's just use the Master Sword. Oh, wow. Trust me, people. I will get this. Alright, is there one more? Oh, there you are, buddy. Not my best showing. Yes, I, I forgot, okay? Yeah, I forgot that we do not have able to use the shield, do not have shield capability with the big run. So it's a two handed one, okay? And as a two handed, guess what? You cannot hold the shield in one hand and do, do the second hand. So it's actually like that in uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, right? We have one handed slash and burn kind of weapons, and then we have a true battle weapons with the two hands. Of course, that all is reflected in real life, right? Some swords are two-handed, some are one. So, this guy forgot, all right? Uh, but I did switch to the Master Sword, as you saw, got the shield out. Forgive me for the last... Hey, you know, age catches up with us all, doesn't it? All right, so guess what, guys? We have a map, and that's a beautiful thing. All right, so the first thing we need to do, all right, is actually right here in this room. And, oh, I just love this temple. Okay, so next to this, these symbols, when, when we play Zelda's Lullaby, there's three, three of these symbols. This is one of them. And that didn't do it. So let's try this again. There we go. I didn't get the chime. So we play Zelda's Lullaby, and what it does is it actually changes the water level of the temple. It's really cool. In a way, and I believe this will bring this all the way down to the bottom level. We'll back to see in a minute. Remember in the ice cavern, where we used uh, blue fire to melt the red ice? Um, well, basically, that acted kind of like a lock and key mechanism your ability to pass to the next section of the dungeon. This one uses water levels, okay? Where certain floors are inaccessible when the water level is too high or too low. So what we do is, at this symbol here, we can drop it all the way to the bottom level, giving us access to that room where we first met uh, Princess Rudo. So let's drop on down. Here we are. Okay, you can shoot arrows through this fire. However... Being lazy like I am, ha! I, I go ahead and I use. Yeah, see, that's they're giving us a little hint there. Uh, they're saying, "Hey, here's some arrows." No, I just come over here, get some dense fire, and you know, let's get let's get an ocarina here. Let's do dense fire here. Here we go, and let's let it loose. The goal is to light all the torches at once. giving us access to this room. Okay. These guys can be tricky, but they're really not. Just get your slingshot ready. When they open up, you shoot them. That's not my best showing, but here. Slingshot ready. Missed. There's another one. One, two, three. This should be a small key. Let's get those arrows. I said, let's get them. there. We go. Small key. Very nice. So there we go. There's that first door. Okay, now we're going to go 
get an optional gold Skulltella. And you notice we have a map. No compass as of yet, but I believe we are headed south. Now check this out. Look familiar? We've seen this in a couple dungeons so far. So let's go get... Our bomb, put it down, and we bomb, and hold on, hold on. All right, let's let go, there we go. And let's go get our iron boots on, so we can sink. And yes, guess who we've run across? We need our hook shot. Oh, come on, dude. Here we go. Iron boots off. You see the pattern. In and out. Oh, boy, do I love the 3DS version for this reason. And the graphics. Oh, the graphics are... A hint of what this game could be if it were remade. And I, I dream of the day where it is remade. So, yes, I love that version of the game. Alright, so by hitting the switch in this room, we raise the water level, but we do something else as well. We expose this target to which we can lock on. stupid things. All right. There is a I believe a switch. There we go. And a swing, I'm sorry, a spin attack actually penetrates that grate, okay? Allowing us to gain access to this room and the gold skull teller which we took care of. So, that is one of the many benefits of the spin attack. So, donning our iron boots once more. Here we go again. <laughs> uh, we're going to go on down. Leave this area. We got our prize. Got a couple arrows as well. And guess what? That's right. Switching back. Oh, this temple. But we have to do it, don't we? No matter the myriad of frustrations it presents, yes, we have to do it. Okay, and this... This, uh... We're gonna go over to the west now. And on this west side, there's a block here. We've seen these before, haven't we? Uh, most notably in the forest temple, where there were two of them as a puzzle to gain us access to the second level. All right, well, in this level, in this temple, we push that block all the way to the end so we can then gain access to the water, put on our iron boots, as you see. And then, guess what? Here we go again. We come on down here, and I believe, is this the place? No. Okay, we have to float up. Sometimes there are uh, one of these areas. You can actually... There's a, a hookshot target. This is not one of them. I believe we just float up here. Whoops. Here we go. Without the iron boots, that's easily done. Okay. This is our first level in which we have these pillars of water. So a pillar, a water pillar level uh, room. So, let's do one thing before we leave, or before we go over there. Let's get rid of this guy. That's some good shooting. Alright. Here we go. This one frustrates the heck out of me, but let's just do it. Okay, no, it's, it's actually the one with the multiple ones. That one's not too hard. There's one where there's two or three. And you really gotta time things out. Okay. In this room, this is a fun little room. 
required some interesting timing and stuff. First thing we need to do is actually float over iron boots around here, I believe. That way we want to sink down in one particular part of this kind of underwater serpent or, or dragon. There we go. We can shoot the switch inside the dragon and then, whoops, we, then we need to quickly hook shot twice. Once to get over here. And the second time, sometimes I just go for it or just get in here. There, all right, now we're in. Those, th those guys get me every time. I'm glad I'm all tanked up on fairies right now because that would have been difficult. So guess what? The goal is to... Oh, man. I, can't, I should just let them kill me. You know, bring the fairy on. Okay, whoops. And then basically... This is a small key. That switch brought the, the gate back up. Okay, the one that we triggered in the dragon's mouth before, so it's really crucial that we make our way down, jump in the water, iron boots to sink down, which I always kind of trigger like this, as I'm in the air, that way they're on, and then good. Here's hoping we have enough time to do a fairy recharge, which I'm really happy for. I can't, you know how I can't stand, and all right, we're through. That worked out beautifully. So, iron key, <laughs> small key, done. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's get swept around the room once. It's like getting flushed down a toilet. Here we go. <laughs> what a horrible comparison. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, get out of here. Well, thank you for the heart. All right. From here, see, yeah, uh, hookshot will not work, but hookshot does work on the target. We don't have to actually go on the water pillar this time. That gets us straight across the room. Of course, in midair, I like to do my boot switch. Just something, uh, something cool about that. Uh, and then, of course, here, boots back off. Oh. oh, this temple. Okay. Oh, is this the one? This might be the one. Okay. Let's look up above. Shall we? And we shall. Check it out. You can't just rise up there. You gotta use the hook shot. And we're out. Because the, that ledge is actually right above where we can actually grab hold. Okay, now we're going to go without our iron boots. We can finally go to the center pillar. Okay. Which is right here. In the 3DS version, there are these really cool lines above the door. Great addition. Kind of, I mean, they, what they do is they indicate where the, uh, the Triforce symbols are that allow us to raise and lower the water levels. Uh, they're non-existent. We are playing the OG original game right here so all right so use our hook shot and, and standing in front of okay we're gonna use our triforce which i love that those three triangles form a triforce symbol there's something really uh poetic and perfect about that you know so this being the second place in which we can change the water level uh, we now have brought the water level from the very bottom to the middle, okay? That floods the bottom, but we've just been to like three places, three hallways or corridors in the bottom. So now we're going to just getting access to other sections as well. So with that water level changed, there is actually a hole that is opened up, which will gain, give us access to the basement of the temple it's a lot more noticeable in the 3ds version the animated section in which they show the water level changing is uh shows that hole but 
but this version doesn't. So there you go. Alright, so Iron Boots on. We are in the basement. The very bottom. Okay, there is a switch here. In the second we trigger the switch, guess what's gonna come? Yes, several bad guys. So, let's do this from afar. That way we have a little distance in which we can start sniping these guys out. And it is key that we do snipe them out. literally got turned around. Oh, that guy was hiding. Little punk hiding behind the switch. Alright, with all the bad guys vanquished, we can now float up to the second side of this underwater chamber. Waiting for us here. Another key. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is make our way to the east corridor. And that one is marked by two jars. Ah, two jars. Uh, that's how I remember it, at least. And this should eventually lead us to the compass. Thank you for the hearts. Running water. Some kind of water over here. Lots of hookshot work. How am I doing on fairies? Uh, I mean, if there's a fairy in one of these, I'm getting it. Not a fairy. Okay, but I'll take the hearts. That's good stuff. All right, so the, the, the trick here, and by the way, is to trigger this so you can actually get the chest in time. A couple ways you can do it. Uh, one with a hook shot. There's a really quick timer, which I missed. How's that for good, huh? Alright, so let's let's get up. Yeah, let's use our fairy bow. So we can be on this side of, of the... There we go. That way we can walk right up. Open the chest. Sometimes the hook shot's not quick enough, meaning if you stand on that side, it's a really quick timer. And yes, we have the compass. Love it. Okay. Now that we have the compass, remember the room in which we uh, met Princess Rudo? 
Well, and we were floating up to that place, you know, where the uh, the first Triforce symbol was. These should be empty. I mean, yeah. As, yeah. Uh, anyway. If we, uh... Yeah, here's east. No, that's not east. East is right over here. Um, so as we were floating up, though, I made note of that cracked wall. Wait a minute. And basically, we can now access that cracked wall. Because the water level is at the midpoint. And not at the very bottom or top. So what we have to do is go to that room in which we met Princess Rito. Float on up. And there it is. We need a bomb. What? Except we're not supposed to throw it. There we go. And we're in. Three keys. That's right. Okay, now we're going to head down to the west side. Okay? So, you know the drill. Iron boots. Over and over again, right? Wash, rinse, repeat. Welcome to the water temple. Alright, so we're on the east. Let's walk on over to the hello guys. West. Once we're over there, we will float on up. Also, what happened is when we raised the water level at that second switch, okay, and we played Zelda's Lullaby, uh, by raising the water level, it also raised this block right here. You might even call it a wooden block. It raises and lowers with the water level. Seriously? Stupid tech types. All right, let's unlock that door before he gets us again. Oh, I swear. Okay. Through this locked door, though. Now, here's a water pillar. We can actually raise this water pillar with that switch. However, yeah, that guy's hiding up there. And... I want my sword. Because you can swipe at those guys once with the bigger and sword, and they're gone. I really love that. I also love hitting my target. There we go. This is a timed water pillar. One in which we need to get off right away. <laughs> it's easily done. Um, okay, what's, what lies ahead here? But hey, guess what? The bars are down, but that's okay. We need our ocarina. This is the third Triforce symbol. Guess what? We can play Zelda's Lullaby again. Play the old Triforce song. Now, we've gone from the lowest level, mid-level, and now the water is at the very top level. Okay? So, that's where we, what we're done. Okay. The room coming up... It's not that bad, but I've had issues in the past. Sometimes it can be super annoying. Um, basically, you would call it the waterfall room. It's over on the west side. You see right there? You have to get it with a locked... As a locked door. I'm going to use one of our keys. We have two at this point. Still have two keys. And you can hear them already. Now, first thing you want to do is snipe these... Oops. Snipe these keys. Yeah, I put my ocarina there. Um, take these guys out. Otherwise, they will get you. Okay. So the trick here is to time your the side the you know the pillar the uh, blocks on this side of the room are going 
up and down. They're ascending and descending. Meanwhile, we have a constant, as you can see, okay? And what you need to do is keep targeting and targeting and targeting with your hook shots. If you get it wrong, you fall into oblivion. You know, kind of have to start over. Um, can't quite get that guy yet, but with the new tool, we will be able to get him. There's something slightly better than the hook shot. So, we can't get him just yet, but guess what? We will, as the gold skull teller on the wall over there. All right, so let's go down. Wait for the right moment here. All right, so before we jump on that block, there goes a heart I could have used. Let's try to get a hook shot target here. Okay, seriously, where am I standing? Okay, all right, so anyway, it's going down. Oh, I hate this room. You, you think it'd be predictable? Like, you know, all right, here we go. And the trick is, once you hook on to the target above you, press up on your control, your left control stick, or your, your control stick, and um, because you want to be able to climb up. Okay, otherwise, you won't be able to climb up. I do want to hook this one. I don't want to be too far from that top target. And boom, that should do it. Yep, we're in. All right, with our last remaining key, we can finally enter this room. And the fun isn't over. It's never over with the water temple. All right, so this room is basically, the puzzle has to do with the switch. All right, and as we look around the room, there are one, two, three. Okay, three dragon head statues. These can be raised and lowered. And when they're raised, they, they give us actual hookshot targets. Meanwhile, we have the lovely tektites on the, on the water. They're not too much of a bother. I like sniping them just for fun. Uh, so, the trick here is to hit that switch and you, you'll see. It's, uh, it's, it's actually not that hard of a room. One. Two. Three. Hook shot. Okay. So we hit the switch. Gives us access to this. I right, said, so there we go. All right, got that one dragon head statue, and I believe we go and hit the hook shot again. Yep. Hit the switch again with the hook shot. There we go. Why do we do that? For this reason. If we had gone over to that side we would not have been able to get over this dragon set. You actually need to climb over it. Let's say climb, there we go, climb over it. Now, hitting the switch again, raises the dragon heads once more. Hook shot over, hit the, hit the switch again. Wash, rinse, repeat. Welcome to the water temple. All right, I'll stop saying that. Um, and then, oh yeah, here we go. Once more. It's actually really cool. It's a sweet puzzle. And uh, it's not that, hey, guess what? I have a killer sword now, bye-bye. Oh, I love it. I love this sword. Okay, fairy bow. Whoops, and fairy bow. Here, here we go, there's one. There are, it's like right at the top of the uh, spikes right there. Otherwise, you are not able to actually get that dude on the other side of the spike. So, thank you for the rupees. There we go. Yes. Ah. Oh. This is such a, it is a sweet temple, okay? This alone is worth the price of admission. Oh, this is this is special. This room, so cool. The way is shut. Lord of the Rings. All right. Okay. 
What kind of limbo, oasis, netherworld is this? Hmm. What could this be? Interesting. But who is that? That's right, it's Dark Link. Oh, yes. And the thing is, he mirrors. You can't exactly... You can't use uh, your, tar your regular targeting with him. He mirrors your attacks. You just kind of have to slash and burn. Okay, otherwise he will mimic your and, and block you perfectly. So, what I, I just go in and I slash like I'm a, like it's crazy until I take him out. Dark Link, come on! Ah, oh, love this game. Here we go. Oh okay, yeah, you think you get a parry for that? Come on. We will always vanquish you. Evil. Link and Loud Boy. Ah, yes. <laughs> long shot. The long shot. I love the long shot. I love the long shot. All right. That was really dorky. All right. <laughs> What's this? Yes, it's the same design. Thank you, Navi. The trick is to stand right on the edge. Bye bye time block. Okay. Shall we go in? Down the rabbit hole. Yes, we are finally at the underground river. Pretty cool place. Yeah, and there are these vortexes, as Navi is so appropriately telling us. What you can actually do is put on your iron boots right here. Okay. And we haven't even looked at it yet. We now have the long shot in our, in our, in our inventory. It actually replaced the hook shot. The long shot is just as it sounds. It is much longer than the hook shot. Taking it out. And taking out and acquiring another gold skull tall. That brings our account to we are bust yeah, we're at 51. That gets us a new prize at that house of skull tala. I love it. Alright, so to get past this though, we definitely want <clears throat> our regular boots. Because we want to sweep this corner. And hopefully, do just that. Get up on this ledge. Oh, is that a fairy? That is a fairy. That is mine. I want it. I want it bad. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Yes. Yes. That brings our fairy count back up to three. Beautiful. I love that, getting fairies mid-levels, mid like, alright, so here, regular boots once more, yeah, we already got them on, so we want to swim past to this little, right there, man, I, I get so nervous, <laughs> alright, the trick here is to hit the switch, but then quickly, long shot over, to the chest, which acts as a point in which... Beautiful. I love that. How the chests are actually targets for our, our hook and long shots. Now, what's really cool is... That winding underground river... 
brought us all the way to a ledge up above that serpent room in which we were earlier, where we had to hit the switch inside the uh, the dragon mouth. Anyway, it's kind of cool how it all snakes together like that. Brings us back to this room. <clears throat> we don't have to do that again. We already did that. That was for our Skultella. Um, I believe, yeah, there's a target over there. Previously, when we would not have been able to reach this target. Now, it's easy with a long shot. Beautiful stuff. Brings us back to here. Hello. How about this? There we go. That's right, I'm packing the good sword now. Alright, iron boots. I love doing midair like that. Just my little thing. Oh, I missed the 3DS version. I played it through completely using an emulator. I built my own emulation station, okay? Um, you know, running on Windows. Oh, Linux, sorry, I, dual boot. So I, I booted up to a Linux OS and uh, running the latest version. Uh, and basically, yeah, I, I was able to emulate 3DS. Okay, right across there is where the boss is. However, we don't have the boss key yet. That was only accessible when the water's at the highest level using the long shot. But what we need to do is we are on the east. We're going to go to the west where there, there was that locked door. Remember the, uh, the rising platforms in that room? And earlier I said that with the right tool, we could actually get that Skulltella on the wall. Now we can. We have the right tool. We have our... We have our long shot. With that, this is easy. The long shot is just killer, and it reaches these insane distances. Just like that. And that's number 52. I know, I don't have them all. I'm not the perfect completist with this game. I get what I can. Especially to get all the uh, the prizes that I need and want along the way. And after 50, it's kind of pointless. Um, not pointless. It's just um, 50 is like a, it's the benchmark I like to reach with the Skulltellas. And, and a lot, I'll get more than that. But I want to reach a minimum of 50. So... Okay, now we're going to go over to the east, okay? Because on this side, uh, the, where we met Princess Rudo, that would be south. You know me, directionally challenged. Okay. We need to change the water level twice to get the boss key. So fun. It always it bugs me how you can't move or change your direction while you're sinking. I wish there was some of that control there. There just isn't, so uh, we must deal with it as it is. I guess that kind of makes sense here. Straight down with gravity, but I wish there was some control. Like we can, you know, like this. I can actually move around while I'm ascending through the water. But the iron boots just prevent that. All right, so this is where we change our water level to the very bottom level. Of course, we need our ocarina for this. Waiting for that chime. There we go. After this, we need to go back to the center column, change the water level to the midpoint. Okay, because again, we're trying to acquire the boss key. It's what it demands, so it's what we, what we gotta do. Alright, so let's drop on down. I love that that doesn't hurt us. Okay, remember the center column? Uh, the place in which uh, we played the song the first time, also where we accessed the basement. 
Well, we're going back there again to do the same thing. It's right up here. There we go. Yeah, three notes. And uh, <laughs> I just pressed the wrong button. Up comes the water. And we're now at the middle point. Okay, before we leave this area, there is a Skeltala, which we can now reach with the long shot. I said we can reach, there we go. All right, so there's uh, number 53, if I'm keeping count correctly. All right, now that we're here, I believe we're going south, and there is a gold and eye switch. There it is. Okay. So this is a, a two-part little puzzle, if you will. I mean, it's basically, you hit the switch, and then we need to quickly long shot over. You know, when I looked for those guys, and I knew better... And I'm like, where are they? And that was all in stuff. That was in my inner monologue, right? And guess what? It snuck up on me. Oh, you little... Oh. I'll take the reward, though. Thank you for the hearts. Like I was saying. Hit the switch. And I'll turn out well in the end. And long shot over. Cool. All right, we're in. This is kind of cool, actually. Okay, here we need to actually grab this block. And pull it into place. at the middle. Okay. My bad. All right. Here we go. Sorry, got a little turn around there. Hold on. Any tech types around here? Did not want to be surprised again. Very good. All right. So hitting. Hit, remember, we pulled that block into place, right? That's the same block that we pushed earlier. Crap! And hook shot across. Oh boy. A minor glitch led us through that one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Can we have another key? Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I needed. Okay, now we need to head back to the main room. And we're going to go to the north side. Luckily, we don't have to change the... Let's go this way. Uh, we don't have to change the water level to get out of here. And I'm hoping this is the way out. I'm about to find out. Oh, I hate this. Being, being in the wrong position for the our shot here. Here we go. Let's actually hit the target. Here we go. We're currently on the west side, which means we need to go around the pillar. That's right, you don't stand a chance. Alright, north side, we're going to sink down.
see this sandy area, it's kind of notes where, why and where we need to be. So again, sinking down even further. All right. This is the place that has some spikes above, however, there's a way, it's not the way, let's try this way, here it is. There's a way that we can get around them, of course, with our long shot. Ah, yes, this room. Oh, this room. Okay, it looks worse than it is, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me, and th there's a couple methods in which we can use to get across here. Uh, one is to simply, I mean, we have boulders going across, as you can see. They're emptying out from that side. We have six tectites over there. Sometimes I might snipe the one, the, the furthest ones, okay. There we go, thank you. You know what? Maybe we just clear the room. I've got the bow. I've got the arrows. be an issue so yeah a couple ways in which we can cross this room remember there are boulders here it helps to go to this right side because this current is going to take us the second we take off those boots but if you press up on your yeah, here we go on your control stick you can you can grab hold of the ledge before it sucks you into oblivion all right now we're at this room it's actually kind of a fun room all right, this room. Okay. Hello, guys. Oh, you suck. It snuck up from uh, snuck up behind me there. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Yeah, I, I literally was just saying, oh, I got plenty of arrows. Unbelievable. Okay. So this room is kind of cool. Uh, there is a block that we can push to achieve our goal here. And it'd be nice if there were some arrows. bombs. That's the game giving us a hint to use bombs. It's kind of funny how they do that. All right. Okay. We blow our way through the hole. Now, the trick is to go... Yeah. We pull... We're not done yet. And we push. And then we pull again. Wash, rinse, repeat. The water temple. We should get that on a t-shirt. Look for it in a store. I'll have to get that out before anyone else does. All right. Um, loud boy wear. Okay. Now, that's right. We push again. So what we're doing is, this block, that's right, 
it holds down a switch, raising the water level so we can access this part of the room. It's like, oh, I just love it when bars close behind us. Ah, uh, yes. Remember I mentioned this earlier, okay? This is the room with three. Uh, oh, whoops. I love it when I do that. Okay. Oh, and we're out of we're out of arrows. Okay. So, let's try something else, shall we? If we annoy these little tectites, a lot of times they will jump forward enough to jump down. Yeah, there we go. Down into the pit. That's right. Come on, little guy. Come on. Come on. Thank you. All right. They are not. And they are down there. So if I fall down there, but I, I can take them out with a sword when I do that, right? So here's the trick. You have to run using the pillars as your means to get across the room. I have spent a few really frustrating moments before trying to use that, because there's three, right? One, two, and three. Trying to use that third one over there? No. Just use the left two. Like okay, a head left, kind of, you know, kind of, and then, boom, you're across. Don't go for the third. You'll miss it, and then, yeah. I've been extremely, now check it out. Before we go around this corner, because we want to go to the left, guess what's hiding over here? Our friendly neighborhood spider. And that's probably, what, 54? Okay, after we snipe the gold skull Tella, what we want to do now is put on our iron boots and head to the right. Avoiding the boulders, yeah. If we can. <laughs> yep. Murphy's Law, right? Okay, oh, who do we have? Oh, hello. And goodbye. Thank you for the arrows. You little tectite loser friends made me run out of those. Okay. Either that or I'm just a bad shot. Alright. This is why we get all those small keys, right? We just went through quite a bit to get to this part. Because behind this locked door is guess what? That's right. It's the boss key. Now. If you recall... The boss key is accessible when the water level is at the highest level, okay? Which means that we're going to have to go change uh, the water level. Thank you for the fairy. I am getting kind of low on hearts here. I just love how they go through walls, but they are fairies. I guess I'll allow them that. Thank you. Oh, there's two. Oh, you brought a friend. As I was saying. Um, yeah. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna go to the west. Go through that, uh... There's a door to the west, which will lead to that Triforce symbol, allowing us to raise <clears throat> the water level to where we need to be. Go on, let, get it, get it, get it, Link. Yes, buddy. All right, here we go. But first, we have to get back to the main room. Yeah. It's boot changing time. There's going to be more after this, but... Ah! Here we are. Main room. Okay. To the west, my directionally challenged brain is trying to find. Here we go. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. 
I don't. I. It's amazing how I have trouble with that. I right, so right across here. Let's go to the store. Do you remember this? I guess he was probably back. Is our tech type friend back? Yeah, he he responded. I think I hear him. There he is. Oh, you jerk. Yeah, that's right, but thank you for the hearts. Oh, you're a sweetheart. All right, here we go. I take back everything bad I said about you, okay, buddy? Because those hearts, I, I like getting those. All right, let's go through this door. Bars down, and here we go. Try for a symbol. Got our chimes. Play the Triforce. Water level up. Sub menu. There you go, guys. There's our map. Okay. Map. Compass. Bo big key or boss key. All right. So here we go. Let's jump across. Hello. Goodbye. Now. With the long shot and a long shot only, we can now, because the hook shot couldn't reach this distance, we can do this. Love, it. Love this game. Okay. Oh, another fairy. And we're all tanked up, right? We're all tanked up, so do your magic. Of course, you know what? Now I won't need to come back. Here. Okay. I was thinking, you know, if I need to retreat and. It'll be fine. This boss isn't too bad. Of course, again, Murphy's Law. We'll see about that. This is all about timing. I'll just wait till we get the hover boots. Those can be tricky. Of course, I I've gotten that down too, but man, in the early days with the hover boots, ridiculous. All right, here we go. All about timing. Do not be afraid, young Luke. Fear leads to the dark side. All right. Here we are. That's actually one of my better Yoda impressions. Yeah, I'm not great, but, you know, that was passable for me. Okay. Hmm. In the water be evil. Okay, here comes the the monster, the great evil thing. That's been plaguing the poor Zoras. That's right. It basically looks like the effects from the abyss. If you saw that movie. What was that? Early to mid-90s? James Cameron? The Abyss? Okay. This can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Hopefully I remember what I'm doing, so we shall find out together. All right. <clears throat> the trick is you do not want him to grab hold of you. However, when he does that... You grab that little red ball, pull it towards you with a long shot, and slash away. But the trick is to not let this jerk get you. Because he will. He's going to reach out and try to grab you. want to get a good forward slash in and I'm gonna try so give me a moment but I've gotten a couple good hits so far <clears throat> okay, it's not let him get us all right he's down ah darn it I hate missing Not my best showing. All right, let's let's give this another try. I said, let's give this another try. Come on, get that. There. Here 
him. I hear him spinning around. All right, he's way over there. Okay. You want to let him reach first. Don't try to go for the ball while he's in the spinning vortex down there. Crap. Okay. It just takes some time. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to build some tension here, right? There he is. All right. Bigger and sword. Come on. One normal slash is probably equal to two. You know, like the 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 hard, the good hit. What is that sucker called? Anyway, when you do the forward slash, okay, the master sword. down there. The monster is defeated. Do not just run forward into that vort, into our portal. Look what's beyond it. Okay? Always make sure you get your heart piece. And to make doubly sure, I'm going to come around from this side. There we go. Water Temple. Expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you? You're searching for the Princess Zelda? Ha! Huh. You can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. But you must take this medallion and take it respectfully. Love it. You receive the water medallion. Bruno awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? As water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. 
Link, you did it. Did Voodoo want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. And once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is it as it was here. Can you read? That was hard to read. Yeah, it is depressing. The sight of the lake being empty like that. I'm glad it's back. to the way it should be. There are a few things that we can do right here on this little island. I'm trying to think if we can do this now. You can actually get a special arrow. And then wait, there's also a gold called Tella. Uh, anyway, there's a few things that we can do on the lake when we haven't even talked about what's over there. See across the lake? That rectangle thing with the door? That leads to the fishing. And believe me, I've debated with myself whether to attempt the fishing for you guys, with you guys, because um, it can be hit or miss, literally. Um, I'm still pondering. You know, if you guys want to see me fish for a while, <laughs> I can make a whole separate video about it. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Because uh, if I get the 13 pounds or more, I get my fourth bottle. You know, again. And then there's a special lure that you can find. Um, it's hidden around there, the sinking lure. There's all this fishing stuff. And I love fishing. I love the uh, the fishing mechanics. It could be its own like, mini game. As it is. It's its own mini game. But I digress. So, I do want to try this though. Because it's on my mind. And we're here. So, if we play the sun song, okay? We're gonna check this right here. Yep. Okay. We play the sun song. Now, check it out. Well, of course, it would be behind us, right? The sun sets. So, we're actually, yeah, we're headed due east if you look at the map. I know that much. Now, don't ask me about real, real life, but I can look at that map and tell that's east. <laughs> Refer to my earlier video, where I told you guys about my directionally challenged nature. Because of growing up on Cape Cod, Massachusetts, on the east coast, everything's west. Okay, enough about that. Sun song. So, play the sun song. And we gotta get our arrow ready. If we shoot the sun at the right time as the sun comes up in the morning... Like that, something very cool happens. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. So let's swim across. Hello, Navi. You trying to tell me something, girl? We have fire arrows. Nice. I'll just wait till we get the light arrows. Those are really cool too. Play the sun song again. Pretty sure there's a secret waiting for us on this little island. Oh, what is this? A fairy. Okay. Now, it is nighttime. This can be tricky. 
And that's what I was speaking of a couple things we could do. And I'm going ahead and doing them, aren't I? Aren't I? All right. So what I mean by tricky is targeting the right part of this tree to where you actually land. Oh, I love that I did it the first time. If you target the wrong part of the branch or the wrong part of the uh, trunk of the tree, you don't have a bloody chance in getting what? Getting the skull teller. But nonetheless, we got it. So, cool. That, my friends, is the water temple. Oh, yes. I'm just so psyched it's behind us. And seriously, I'm so pumped it's behind us. I mean, anyway, this has been more than a pleasure. This has been fun. It's been a challenge. <laughs> It always is. I mean, this temple... And there's more coming up. Shadow Temple. Um, the Underground Well. And, uh, you know, so we have some more pretty big challenges that face us in the future. However, there's something about all the water raising and lowering and boots on and off. And, and um, it, it's a tough... I would... It could be the very toughest of all the dungeons. I am stoked that you came, stoked that you stayed this long with this video. Please, if you like it, like it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. And um, it's been a pleasure, guys. Leave me comments about anything. You want to talk to me? Share your thoughts, comments, opinions, whatever. I'd love to hear from you guys. It's been a pleasure chatting with you guys. And uh, this means the world to me that you're here. So until next time, where we have a lot more Ocarina to play. This is Loud Boy signing off. You guys have a really lovely day and a blessed evening. And Happy New Year. It's 2024. Thanks, guys. Bye.